2009 was a difficult year. I remember lying by the pool with my lunch, when those familiar chords came over the radio. They have been cycling through my mind ever since. Four humans, two guitars, unremarkable really, yet it sparkled. It was my first walk for Coco. It came on and it was the first time I felt truly beautiful. Things were going well for us. Then we heard this little group from Australia. We thought we'd heard it all. The pigs, the tigers, the goats, the dolphins. And we were like, what is this new sound? It changed everything. You are still. Much of the recording would take place at the singer's cramped North Melbourne share house. Jeffrey insisted on using these tiny microphones he'd kept from his days working for the government. They would take hours to set up. Sometimes he'd call me in the middle of the night and we'd just start laying down new ideas right there. He always knew when I was up. However, the exciting recording process would be overshadowed by deepening conflicts within the band. The problem started when they got an endorsement from the Cryonics Institute, who'd taken a keen interest in the group. However they could only provide three chambers between the four of them, in the end they decided Brett, with his 2020 vision, was the least deserving. It would be one of the toughest decisions the band would make. The band pushed on to finish the recordings, which became all the pleasures of the world. It was released to universal acclaim and is now regarded as a classic amongst the world's most discerning music enthusiasts. 